Welcome back, party people. I'm about to go get me some of that poontang. And then I need to find a place to put this dude. Someplace quiet. Like back here. What's this about a touch brothel? <laughs> I don't remember where I heard the term Dutch brothel from. It might have been Archer. Was it Archer? I don't remember. That's weird. Anyway, <laughs> so we're not killing people in this mission. But we are getting pretty jiggy with the things. So much the things. Oh, I do have thermal. Oh, yes. What's this? What is up with that? I'm gonna save. Matter of fact, I'm gonna do a legit save. Oh, legit save. Oh, okay. <laughs> That's funny. So I didn't need that at all. Uh, what happens if I jump on top of there? Well, doesn't matter. I'm gonna go underneath. Now I'm over here, and there's nothing. Alright, well, I'm going this way then, and I believe I gotta get up here. Much better reticle. Shit, what am I doing? Okay, right, right. And then I turn this way. And I go over. And that was your introduction into landmines. Enjoy it. Are there more? I wonder. Cool. Double tap when you let go, you drop right into the crouch for a quiet landing. Check one more time. Super anal about not getting blown up. Call it a quirk. Okay. This one gets a little funky if I remember correctly. Because it really all depends on which wall you jump on first. Or, no, no, never mind. It depends on which wall you're leaning on. You jump to the opposite. And that's super important. Binoculars. Shit. I gotta change that because my middle mouse button is literally shit. Oh. 
Grimm's found you a back door. Avoid the main gate at all cost. Blueprints show an ornamental stream running beneath the entrance. Looks like a viable way in. A little wet's better than a little dead. That stream's your way in, even if it means moving slowly to minimize your noise level. Fisher, be careful. This village is a walk in the park compared to what needs to be done inside the embassy. Okay. So there's that. So that wasn't too bad. Pressing the EM key. I'll just have to remember that that's that. Also when I'm sniping. Which will probably be more of a pain. Save again. Yeah, he's right here too. will become almost impossible to control. This operation is based on stealth. Uh, that was gay. Grimm's found you a back door. Avoid the main gate at all cost. Blueprints show an ornamental stream running beneath the entrance. Looks like a viable way in. A little wet's better than a little dead. That stream's your way in, even if it means moving slowly to minimize your noise level. Fisher, be careful. This village is a walk in the park compared to what needs to be done inside the embassy. I wonder if I should grab him. Hmm. Also wonder if I should have just moved in right there. I've only played through this game and beat it actually once on normal, so I'm not nearly as familiar with its intricacies as I am with Splinter Cell 1. I, despite all my rustiness and fuck ups in that game, I really pretty much know like 98% of that game. This one, I vaguely remember what's going on. Hopefully, I don't suck too bad at it. this way okay okay take a look at the lights huh save here The situation is getting worse in the embassy. They seem to be killing hostages now. Hmm, okay, that's pretty bad. I've got a man Ooh. at my way, Lambert. <laughs> How flexible is my zero fatality mandate? As a rock. In fact, we want you to make a new friend. From your onboards, that man looks like one of Sedano's lieutenants. Interrogate him. Find out what he knows about Sedano's defense parameters. The chatter we're sifting sounds bad, but lacks specifics details on your opset so we get to have a friendly chat here in the corner where it's dark in fact I'm gonna pull him over here just to be safe I need information I I don't speak English <laughs> I'd be to bet your neck that you do I know a little English <laughs> I'm going inside to meet your friends. Anything I need to worry about? They have guns. 
I'm shocked and amazed. <laughs> what else? My men planted the mines on our way out. We had to escort uh, to defend the village. Escort who? Nothing. Escort who? Ah! Nobody. I, I made a mistake. Escort who? Ah! I don't know his name. Somebody important to Sedano. He's got an American accent and one of his legs is fake. A bald man with dead eyes. Fake <laughs> Yes. Go ahead and kill me. That's all I know. After you get the information you need, press the fire B key, left mouse button to knock out or and release your opponent. Kabam. Valum, you there? You got some light? Valum, you hear me? So it's this guy's turn, and then I'm going to end the episode. I can't open doors like this. That's quite alright. Actually, their reticle is exactly as shitty as it was in the first game. Music's a lot trippier. That's gonna do it for this episode though. Looks like there's nothing worth reading. Be sure to like, comment, favorite, subscribe, share, and watch more of my videos. I'm mean, doing some more ass kicking with uh, Super Spy.